Good morning. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to create a space of healing and support as we are now at our countdown one day to go until my 12 hour healing event tomorrow. So I've done five days to go and each day since five days countdown and we're now here at one a day. So it's happening tomorrow. In fact, this time tomorrow I'll be into the 12 hour healing event. So the energy is very intense. And so what I'm looking for, because the energy is quite intense at the moment, um, it's been quite intense probably for the last 12 hours or so. I've, I've also noticed that I'm looking for some calm and some release in this particular video. That's why I'm coming here with that bit of an intention. But I'm also going to be governed and guided by the cards that I pull and also by the energy as everything unfolds. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to be here for a little bit and I'm going to be using my healing energy cards. I have two decks combined here. That's deck one, the original upgraded deck, and healing energy cards deck two. So I have 110 healing cards here and I'll be looking uh, using this deck to find the best card to start this um, support video off. So whatever is pulled, I'm going to share um, whatever I think about that with you. And then I have got my quartz singing bowl to play today. And then I'm going to pull a, another card to go. So um, what I recommend that you do is take on board what feels right and what resonates and what fits into your life easily and what makes sense to what you've got going on and let the rest go. I trust you've been led here for a reason and what that reason is will be personal to you. It could be for one little reason, it could be for a whole load and ton of reasons or a big reason or anything in between. It's not up to me to know or even determine what that is because that's your business. I am here, I was led here to be here at this time and I trust that the time's right. And I trust that things flow and synchronize up at the right time. So um, anything that might come up that's intense for you, that um, is triggering, let's say, perhaps work with your out breath to let go. I feel a lot of release is needed at the moment. So I'm very interested to see what the card is going to be. Before I pull the card, actually, I want to send out a big extra special welcome to those of you who are joining me for the 12-hour healing event tomorrow. Um, there is a small exchange for that healing event for a solid 12 hours of healing time. Well, it's not solid. It's broken up into different videos, but it is a 24-hour window of intense healing time. If you would like to join me, you are very welcome to. If you can't join me on the day or during Monday, which might be Sunday for you, then you can join in later. Once I start, the videos are going to be available from then. So from Monday, you can uh, participate. And uh, you can learn more about the 12-hour healing event at templeofbalance.com.au. So I'm coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia, where it is Sunday, the 7th of April. And the time is 10.30 a.m. on the dot. And we our clocks went back last night. So the time might be different for you if you're in another time zone. Hello, Mary. Welcome. Okay, so I'm now looking for the best card that the majority of us need as we move into this healing and support time. As we drop deeper into this space, into ourselves into whatever it is that we've got going on. So let's go with this card. <coughs> Excuse me. There's definitely energy moving in the throat, I can feel, um, as I'm sensitive to this space that's been created. I've got Healing Energy card deck two, and it's card 69, Clearing Vision. So when we look at this card, we will notice that these cards now, and this new deck, have a category system here 
this is in the category of neutral which is center and down here it says open to your soul's vision clarity wake up the clouds are parting gather information see who you really are and who you want to be manifest your visions so what I'm really drawn to first of all with this card is the way we're seeing things so the way we're seeing or observing or believing things to be may not be the fullest um, the fullest reality or the fullest truth at this time so there is a sense with this card that um, with the eye that it's almost like half open or half closed <laughs> it depends how we look at it um, so there's more I feel that we could see if we need to now this is especially for situations that directly relate to us there might be situations going on that we are partly involved with or supporting with but we are not directly involved with and for those situations we might have to have half closed eyes because if we dive too much into it if we try and control the situation too much then uh, and it's not really directly connected to us then there may be problems that we may uh, encounter is the feeling so if we've got something really directly happening to us that involves us involves our loved one that we live with or that we're directly connected to then there might be more for us to see so this also suggests that cloud the clouds want to part clarity wants to come if only we could allow ourselves to see the true path is what the feeling is here too we're being enc encouraged to tap into and trust our intuition that's providing it really is our intuition and not just our wishful thinking or what we hope will happen that our intuition's voice is slightly different from what we hope to happen compared to what our intuition is guiding us with and sometimes the difference in those voices can be so subtle that we think they are the same voice the same thing but they feel a bit different so we will need if we are running on say our hopes instead of our intuition we might find ourselves getting quite defensive of our hopes what we are claiming to be true that we might get re very defensive of, of um, our stance with things so that's probably a bit of a red flag for us if we're feeling that way as well so um, let's let the clouds part let's let our vision clear so we can find clarity so clarity what does that mean for you right now where are you feeling clouded where are you feeling unclear where are you feeling or thinking that you just don't know what to do in this situation and you really need clarity to come in so it feels like clarity wants to come in it's a bit like the sun being out there and the sun's rays are coming want to come through to us and bring clarity but we can't see the sun when there's clouds parting the space between the sun and us so when the clouds are there which is what it feels like at the moment then it can be difficult to sense what the clarity is so I feel like what I would like to focus on at this time or and if it resonates with you is to look at what needs clearing what clouds need parting uh, in our own mind and with our own feeling with our own beliefs with the things that we have perhaps that are going out there that aren't quite right or aren't quite aligned with the truth and that will hopefully help part the clouds so the clarity can reach us so the clarity is looking for us it just probably can't penetrate the clouds right now the clouds might be thick and dark and stormy or they it might just be a very dense fog and we can't quite connect with the clarity so clarity is there we can trust that it's trying to get to us so we just need to part the clouds to 
bridge that gap and get them out of the way for so that we can tap into that clarity. That's what I'm feeling. So see how that resonates with you. I'm going to play the singing bowl. This is my quartz singing bowl, which resonates with the heart, uh, sorry, the throat chakra. So this is about communication. It's about truth. Um, I felt to when I was feeling on which instrument to grab, I felt a calming sense with this bowl. And there is this sense for some of us to find some calm within us, maybe calm down. Maybe we're trying so desperately to find the clarity or find the truth or find the the vision that we are getting outside of ourselves so this bowl and the energy i feel you know let's try and calm ourselves down let's breathe let's connect in with our body and our heart and let's see what happens from there and as i'm speaking then my voice is shifting i can feel <clears throat> there's some um, energy moving in the throat so there must also be something in this about um our quest or desire for truth and also a quest or desire to find ourselves that may be connected here, which we can also link in with purpose and meaning and finding a sense of belonging. There might be this confusion around all this stuff right now that we're trying to figure out. Um, and while we're trying to figure it out, things seem cloudy. But as we push through and just keep going without trying to control or manipulate, but just kind of... Be, find our calm and keep going. Find our calm, keep going. The, we'll move out of the clouds if they don't part. We'll move out of that cloud, cloudy zone and then find the clarity. The clarity will find us. It's looking for us now. So we can trust in that if that's something that's applicable for you. So, all right, I'm going to play the singing bowl. There's nothing you can do wrong if you haven't listened to this before. Just listen and let the sound of the bowl hold you and support you with whatever it is that you need. Maybe something I've said resonates with you. Maybe there's something else that you need. And that is totally fine. So take a nice big breath and allow the bowl to support you, to help calm you down or clear the clouds or whatever it is that you need.
Okay, take a nice big breath. So to me, the bowl had two parts. The first part, the donging, to me, reminded me, or it felt like, a church, church bells calling from the middle of the town. I live in an old country town. And... Um, so it reminded me of a church in the middle of town and the church bell calling because it was church time or whatever they used to do. But it was all foggy. So like in winter time here, it will be quite foggy at times. So calling through the fog when you can't see ahead that much the, is the church bell that we can hear. So we could hear the church bell, but we couldn't see the church or the church bell, the steeple in the distance so there is a feeling you know I feel like through that there's a reminder that we really can trust that clarity is coming that we might not be able to see it yet which takes us to this card which is very much about our vision we might not be able to see it yet maybe we can hear it maybe we can sense it on other levels like deep down inside like a church bell calling to us, like cl if that represents clarity, that's calling to us and it's trying to find us and we're trying to find it, that we can hear it or sense it on some level, but we might not be able to see it yet. So there is an element here of probably needing to trust in the unknown and trust that the clarity is coming. And we're being in encouraged to just keep feeling our way through towards what we hear like the church bell or the clarity or whatever it is that we're sensing and the other phase of the bowl felt very relaxing so once I started the singing part it felt just like this deep pull down into the body this you know it's almost like a relief to know that we can trust that clarity's coming instead of trying to pursue it and push it and control our way towards it and we have to have it now and it has to be in a neat little box there instead of that kind of desperation and pushing there is a feeling that once we can trust that it's coming to us once we can trust that it's there even though we can't see it that there's something that can, can calm us down with that it's like we stop the push we stop the fight we stop the control we stop needing to fit it into an exact box because the clarity may not come the way we think it's going to come or the way we expect it to come or the way we hope it to come the clarity might come in a different way so if we've got expectations attached to that clarity we're keeping a distance because it's not going to come the way we expect so we probably might help to drop expectations and drop our need to control at this time and trust in the unfolding, trust in the unfolding, and trust that the universe will bring to us exactly what we need for our highest truth. And it may not be what we want. It may not be what we expect and what we really, really, really want. But we can trust it will be what we need for our highest truth. So it's quite deep, big things going on at the moment. Welcome, everybody. And if you just joined in, I was playing the singing bowl with this card in mind, card 69, clearing vision, parting the clouds, trusting that clarity is coming. So this is from Healing Energy Cards, deck two. And if you resonate with that, I recommend that you grab this card from your deck. You can grab cards from the Healing Energy Cards straight from the deck if you specifically need help with something. You can go straight to this card and go, right, I need help with self-love and finding balance with that. I'm going to keep this card close by for a few days or pop it under your pillow. It can be really helpful. So go straight to the cards you need if you want to. So I've used the healing energy cards today and I'm going to pull another card to go. Before I do, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, so thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Please interact. Please comment. Please share. Please message us privately if you'd prefer. If you'd like to join me for the 12-hour healing event, which starts in less than 24 hours from now, uh, then I really encourage you to have a look at templeofbalance.com.au on my website there. You'll find the 12-hour healing event just a bit down on the home page. 
So we're going to be deep diving into healing. So if you would like to join me, I encourage you to have a look. These are life-changing events. So um, this is the last countdown video. So this will be the last time for this particular phase, this particular event, that I'll be pulling a card for what's next. So this is very important, probably, this card, especially for those of you who are joining me for the 12-hour healing event because this is our kind of our twilight. This is like the, the darkest part of the night before the dawn. This is that moment that before you get married or before this big event, before you meet the man of your or woman of your dreams, you know, it's that kind of 24-hour period just before something in really big and important is going to happen. That's what it feels like to me. So what do we need to think about for this next 24-ish hours as we move forward from here? It's probably still linked up with what I've been talking about, which is especially around clarity, trusting. It's about releasing and finding calm. And the best card for this next 24 hours as we count down from here is from Healing Energy Cards Deck 2. Ah, this is one of my favourite cards. And I currently have another copy of this under my pillow because I love sleeping with this card. It's card 98, Dragon's Breath. And it's in the rest category. And it has this deep, quiet power. Like it's really interesting this card see if this resonates with you it says the power of your breath speak up let it out see it through don't underestimate yourself breathe out and release avoid bottling up and courage so there is something in this card that brings us deep into our throat and into the dragon energy within. And I can feel this sort of dragon within and then all the fire wanting to come out of our throat, like through the dragon's breath. So there is energy that we've probably been bottling up or storing here in our throat and I can feel it moving up into their head. So it's probably something we've been quite worried or concerned about that's taking up some head space and air time. That so we've been encouraged to transform and transmute with fire and the power of our breath as we release. So what we've been encouraged to do is really use this next 24 hours to release through our throat, through our breath, to let it go and let go of our need to control our need to know our need to have everything fitting in this box our need for everything to be tightly packed into this space that we can control and we can manage we have to surrender all of that is the feeling at this time surrender and trust in the universe if we do the right thing if we're aligned with our truth and our morals and we're doing what is right in this situation for ourselves and other people involved as our back. If we're going against that, if we're trying to manipulate and force and lie and push and control and and uh, persuade and all these kinds of then <laughs> uh, then uh, we might be feeling quite unsettled and out of ourselves. So for me, how this is going to look like for me, just as what I'm thinking about in this moment, seeing as though I'm hosting and facilitating this 12-hour healing event, is I'm going to pay extra attention over this next 24 hours to my breathing. And every now and then I think, as many times as I think about it, I'm going to actually pause what I'm doing and just take three, three deep breaths. And um, just really consciously breathe. I want to, at this point, it might shift as I unfold through the next 24 hours. But at this point, I'm thinking of really focusing on the out breath as like fiery dragon's breath. You know, breathing out, really letting things that have been stored in here go. And breathing the new air in. And this new air feels like it's calmer. It feels 
less forceful somehow. It feels trusting and less pushy or something like this. It just feels more content somehow. So that's what I'm feeling at the moment. Now, how else will this translate? I'm definitely, I've already got this card under my pillow, but I'm actually going to hold this card out of my deck. This will be the only card I've actually worked personally with for these last five days. I'm going to keep this, well, I don't know, I might even keep it like here or something for a while. Something like that. Face down on my heart to help also for me to connect with that energy. So I'll do that and we'll just see what else happens throughout the day. I'll probably read it to a few times and um, go from there. So Dragon's Breath is our card. If you are joining me for the healing event and you have these cards, I really recommend keeping this card close by for a, the next 24 hours. For those of you who are joining me, I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow. You'll get an email from me when we start and then an email from me when we finish. So keep an eye out for those. Um, I'm very excited to see what unfolds. I have no expectations. So who knows what's going to happen. And this is, seems to be what unfolds best. and creates the most powerful experience. And these are always life-changing. There's not been one of my healing events, 12-hour ones, that haven't been life-changing, even for me. So this is the ninth or the tenth one, I think, that I've done over the last several years. So that's that. I'll see you tomorrow, those of you joining me. Now, I'm going to be back in a few hours to pull some cards for Sunday and Monday. Um, so keep an eye out for that video. Um, so I'll see you in a couple of hours, probably. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Bye.